guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Well, we just got back from one of our dreaded trips to the city. Um, got a new tarp to do the um, chicken tractor because we want to get the babies moved out to the chicken tractor as soon as possible. Um, Chris is just feeding them now, so I thought I'd take you in there and have a look at what they're doing or how they're doing. They're getting so big so fast, we got to get them out of that box. So before I do that, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video <laughs> with your family and friends. Rusty's still got his uh, neck cover on. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's, it seems to have slipped down and he's, the girls can still peck at his neck. So I think we're going to have to take it off and put some more salve on. Let's go check on the babies. It's getting too uh, small in there for them. So we're going to try moving them outside tomorrow. I don't know if that's considered fully feathered or not. Um, the little one that was sick, um, we think he just ate too much. Um, we found that, I, we think that's what the one that died did too. The one that was um, not moving and getting trampled, we put it in here by itself with water and food and that seemed to give it enough time to recover. And then it jumped out, went back in with us, the rest of them. So it absolutely stinks in there too. So last year, Chris did um, run the, the heat lamp out to the chicken tractor. We covered it in uh, lumber tarp. And I said, always keep lumber tarps on hand. So if we have to do that, then we will. But it's just getting too tight in there for them. And um, so we are gonna put Chris got a new tarp. We're gonna put uh, a new tarp on the chicken tractor. Maybe even tonight. It was starting to rain out and um, it stopped. We just got a sprinkle. We also got uh, two big bales of straw, which we desperately needed. So this is a lot of straw. And the guy was complaining because he said it was chopped really small. You can see where the chickens have been pecking at it. Um, and we thought, well, that's fine for us. So Chris got it all put in here and they are just loving it. Like just, they're constantly kicking it and digging in the dirt. But um, we're gonna take that little, uh, I don't know what to call it, for the broody hen. Once she has her chicks, we're gonna move her into that, but we're gonna put it in here so it's protected. We're gonna take the tire out. Um, the dump is having one of those days where they're taking all the paint and tires and stuff uh, coming up. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna put her little brooding station out here. As soon as she hatches that way, she's with the other chickens, but um, has her own separate little space and feed her and everything. Chris got that done the other day. Gotta try and get this done tomorrow too. Um, oh no, I should say not tomorrow. We were gonna do it tomorrow, but now Bob and Chris are going off to play somewhere again. Every time I think I've got him cornered to get something done, those boys run off and play somewhere. So yeah, Chris got the door. He built this last year, but he sort of got it finished um, the other day and I didn't get any video of him working on it, but this tarp is really good. It doesn't have any holes in it. And uh, he got a nesting box made for the uh, Ruby to go in there with her babies. There's lots of dry space here and then the, they can also peck in the dirt. So that's gonna be just perfect for her. So we're gonna move this into the run. That way she's safe from any uh, predators at night. And, um, there's lots of space in the run. Most The chickens aren't in there most of the time anyway. Even when we went to the city today, uh, we left them to free range. Rusty does such an awesome job of getting them uh, to safety uh, when a hawk or anything comes around. There was actually a bald eagle two days ago uh, circling up above. And that's why we have these strings up here in case you were wondering. Um, the hawks can't uh, swoop down into the chicken run. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is go check on Ruby. Uh, we haven't taken her out of the nest for a couple of days. So Chris is actually gonna take her out of the nest and um, check to see if there's any new eggs underneath her. 
so that uh, Ruby, she is just the sweetest girl. Let's see if we can do this without any eggs coming out. Yeah. Good girl, Ruby. So let me just see if there's still 10 eggs. Ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, yeah, there's still 10. They're just as warm as an Good oven. Girl. So, I'm gonna put uh, them back, put her back in. There you go, Ruby. I love the way she gingerly steps in there and gets settled back on them. I was hoping she would face this way because the other day, oh, there you go. Look at, she uses her beak to put them back in where she wants them. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. You get them all arranged the way you want them. Yes, you get them all arranged. We moved them, didn't we? Yeah. Now I'm looking at her bum. But that's what she's doing. She's, uh, yes, you're going to get them all set. <laughs> I think it's so cute the way she picks up the straw and moves it. I don't. Oh, I guess she's moving it closer to her. Isn't that funny? Yeah, do you want it in there nice and close? Yeah? You're Hi, such a good girl. Hi, Ruby. You are such a good girl. Yes, you are. She doesn't get mad. I've, anybody I've seen that tries to do that or even take the eggs from a broody hen they peck them and screech, and she doesn't do any of that. The hardest part is getting her out of this opening without her legs dragging any of the eggs out. And, um, but she is just a little sweetie, aren't you? Well, the girls are in the garden. Clean it up. Yep. Adding some more fertilizer before it gets tilled. What do you think, Ruby? Yeah. Oh yes, you're such a sweet baby. I just love the way she purrs. <laughs> She's looking out here. Trying to look out like Gladys Kravitz. Yeah. You're such a sweet girl. Yes you are. Yes you are. See, I always thought, just from what I'd seen on other channels, that broody hens were mean when you, you know, touched them or went near the eggs or anything, but she is just a little sweetie. Yeah, Chris was saying, now, we're down to six eggs a day a lot of days, so we know darn well they're laying them outside now. He can't even deny it anymore. So now we're thinking, okay, this is just wonderful. Now they're going to lay eggs in the straw here. Oh, I was wrong. Seven today. But still, we were we were like 10 or 11 every single day and now we're six or seven. Now it wouldn't surprise me because they were laying in that corner in the dirt last year. So it wouldn't surprise me to find eggs in here. Maybe we should put straw back in these pots. I don't see any, but... They, like I said, they were out, they're free range, so I think they're out there somewhere in the potato patch. Now, the other thing we got today was the two bathroom cabinets. The 30 inch shelves for those cabinets up there. And some extra 24 inch shelves for these cat cabinets. So now I can completely get this stuff done. I can't figure out what I'm gonna do as far as where I'm putting stuff in these cabinets because I need more shelves. So I can finally get this done. See, I can get another shelf up there and it gives me more storage this way. That one's got one. I think I'm gonna add another one in here and another one in here as well. 
See, this is the thing. A lot of the time you get two, two uh, shelves. You used to get three with these 40 inch cabinets. Now they don't spec any in, which made me really cranky if you saw the earlier video. So I always make room. I measure stuff out like this. So I know what I'm putting on that shelf and then um, put extra like this. This is what I always have handy for cooking. So that's the top height of that shelf and then my measuring cups there and then I'll figure out what I'm going to put up here. So it makes a big difference. And now that I can get these shelves in, I can finish stuffing these cabinets with things. So the only thing now missing is going to be the uh, bathroom mirror and we checked and they were all out of stock on mirrors again too. So I have a framed mirror that I may end up um, spraying the frame chrome because it's gold and putting it in here because I'll probably get fed up with this big blank space. So I'm going to, Chris put some primer in these holes, uh, wood filler, and I am going to prime and repaint this because of the cracks, big cracks. So I can't stand here in the bathroom and look at this. No, no, no. So do that tomorrow maybe since the boys are gonna be running away to play again. I can play Dolly out here in my Barbie, off-grid Barbie house. Rusty's gonna supervise, I guess. You look pretty silly with that sock on your neck, Rusty. Yeah, you look pretty silly. This ground is so uneven, it's so hard to walk, walk on it. Again, there's no wind this time of day, which makes it so nice out. You want me this nice out? He steals every knife that's around anywhere. He has like 42 knives, and if I have one, he needs it. Do you want me to take this off too, Chris, or do you want to just oh, so leave it? I think the end. These are going to just open it to see. Oh, okay. I wanted to, I wanted to get a green in there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we made this a little bit of a mm -hmm. 16 by 12. Swap those screws in. Okay. Down the end around the corner. Oh. And go like take this end? Yeah, you go down there. Oh, this end. No, I thought you meant that corner. You can go that way. Um, yeah, it way too long that way. Oh. Um, so you want to go? You go down there down the boat. So my, my memory card was full, so I had to go change it, but this tarp, um, Chris and I went to two places today and forgot to look for tarps. So we finally uh, got one at PV Mart, this was all they had, and it's almost, other, other than six inches too big this way, it's pretty much um, exactly the right size. We can only have it overhang a little bit here, um, 
because of the door. And then last year we did have one side, that green tarp, so there was a couple feet here that uh, was open. And we want to leave the end open too, let some air through. Um, but when the winds come from, uh, what is that, the west, um, they're just brutal and they don't like the wind. So this way, this year we won't have to worry so much if the, if the open side was facing the wind. I was always worried about uh, it getting too windy for them. So this way with both sides covered, it won't matter which way the chicken tractor's facing, um, the wind won't get them. So Chris is just going to fold it over a little bit on this side and then uh, it will be perfect. And again, uh, Chris has got washers on these screws um, to keep the tarp from ripping them too badly. And then folding the tarp over helps strengthen it a bit too. Now, and manage to get it over top of this lumber tarp too. Might as well keep that on there. They're gonna love it out here with all the, there's so much clover and the chickens just love the clover. Hello, Ruby. I've got some asparagus for you. Do you want some asparagus? Look. Do you want that? Hmm? Not so much? Oh, you're all fluffed up, aren't you? snack after all. Yes. Close the door now because it's so windy. Yeah, it's so windy. Well, it's a cooler day today and it's still, what's that, about 13 Celsius. So that's not too bad in here. Look at all the tomatoes. We put a couple of seeds in each one. Well, there's obviously three in there. So there's three in some of them. Some of the beans are coming up. This one's still got dirt on them. So there's beans coming up. I think that's a cayenne pepper. See the one here? Oh, there's one over there I think too. There's one in there too. Oh yeah, when the dirt comes up like that, it's, I'll maybe water it and then it washes it off. I see I'm getting a little bit of uh, moss on here, so I'm not gonna water them today. I think they've got plenty of moisture. This was where I put my ginger and I don't see any signs of ginger popping up out of there. There. Oh yeah, there's another one there. I think that might be a pepper. So if I don't have to buy tomatoes, I don't have to buy peppers. That'll be good. Um, again, these are going bonkers. I think these things here, these shoots are two inches longer every time I come out here. And there's more blossoms on the um, cascap. Yeah, our neighbor Sheldon gave us um, this. It's black currant. And he said, you can just stick them in the ground. And uh, so that's exactly what I did. And uh, there's my little apple tree. And then these are the two new raspberry bushes. I'm not gonna plant yet. So these are all doing good. I'm not gonna water them today. There's lots of moisture in there. So anyway, that was the big thing today, getting the chicken tractor ready. That's done. There's no wind out, but um, going to the city, you all know I hate going to the city. <laughs> I'm tired right out. The walking, especially at a place like Ikea. I didn't get the scooter this time. I just walked with the cart and used it like a walker. But my feet are hurting and I'm so tired. So um, my ankle hurts and then my right foot hurts because I put so much more weight on it. But I am done for today. Um, not a terribly exciting day. Well, maybe for you, I'm very excited about finally getting that stuff from Ikea. So I'm going to go sit down, put my feet up, 
and uh, we're done for the day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends. And we'll see you next time.